So these are my stations along the back wall of my room. And it's basically like my cutting station, my sewing station, and then my painting station. And so the first one here is my cutting station. Um, wonderful little cover my mom made for me. So this is my Cricut. And then next to it, and I should probably get a cover for it, but I don't have one yet, <laughs> is my Gemini. And then this is my Go Press and Foil. That's it there. And then, unfortunately, I have to share a light with my sewing station, but that's fine. It swivels back and forth, and it lights up pretty well. And I have a great big cutting, glass cutting mat here for doing cutting. And then in my drawer is all the things that I need for my cutting. So also my little sidekick, all the plates, um, some of the big dip Tim Holtz dies. All of my other dies are in my Crafter's Companion uh, notebooks, storage folders. And then some of the different embossing pads, uh, magnetic pads, that kind of thing. And then the box there at the bottom is the foil and everything for my stamping foil. So this works pretty well. Everything is right where I need it to do my cutting. And this is my sewing station. So again, I have a wonderful cover that my mother made for my sewing machine. And it's a... Viking Brilliance. I really love this thing. And I'll keep that uncovered. Um, and then I have this little thing here. So basically, I keep um, this all pushed back because I can, I just fold that up. And then I have a wool pad that I can put here on my desk. And then my little tiny iron sits there. It's always plugged in. It's always off, but it's always plugged in. And then I can iron right on my desk. And so I don't have to have a ironing board. I really love this thing. And it works perfectly. My desk never, it, the warmth just does not go through the mat. So I really love using that. And I just keep it right over here next to the desk. And then I can flop this down, of course. These guys want to fold, fall out when I do that, but then I just pull it forward. Yeah, I usually do that with two hands. <laughs> and now I have my pockets for when I'm sewing, and I can just sit and sew. And I have a little basket here, and this is all, um, of course, I don't know why that's stringing off, but um, the basket for my trash. It's attached here, little snaps, and I also have this little bag, and it can swing down and just hang. Mostly, it's got a set of scissors tied on there, and then I keep little paper scraps for, like if I change out my thread, I like to run through a test strip just to make sure that everything's going well, so I keep that in my little bag. And so that is my sewing station. So right, oops, better not do that. <laughs> right behind, so here's my sewing station. And right behind it on this, on the side of one of my bookcases, I have this little set of holders and then these little buckets. Now these are all from Ikea, both the, the rods and all the buckets. And in those, I keep all of my threads. And of course they're organized by color. And this way I can just spin around and grab the thread that I want. And I use, these are one of my favorite things that I've added, found. Um, actually my husband suggested these. They are used to corral cords. So if you've got cords, um, you can, that's how you can buy them is you get them to corral cords and they come in a set like this 
and you just peel off the one that you need. It's Velcro, but it's not. <laughs> I know that sounds odd, but the reason I say that is because um, they, it has doesn't really have teeth. If you look at it, it's quite smooth, but it does, the, the other side is slightly fuzzy, so it doesn't have the hook teeth, but as you can see, it goes nicely together. I can um, supply the link for where I found these. They are wonderful, and because they're not Velcroed, they do not stick to my thread. So it keeps my threads from unraveling. And I've, I've had tried these little guys, right? Yeah, you can see I still add this thing to it. So <laughs> I just, I really love, 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 love these guys. So I highly recommend that. But So that's where I keep all my thread. Okay, so this is my painting station. It sits right next to my desk. And I've got my little display case here with all my paints. And then my desk. And next to it is a little nook with some other pieces. So let's take a look at this. So on top, I have this little jewel case from Ikea. This is pretty much everything I need for painting, my paint rollers. Um, I love this. I highly recommend one of these guys. So this is a spoon rest for your kitchen. It's ceramic, and I use it to rest my paint brushes on. But also, if I'm painting, you know, I've got you know, this big old guy of paint, and I'm all I'm doing is this, you know, one color. I use this and this guy, and it comes right out. Really beautiful. So I love, 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 love that little guy. So, and that also I purchased at Ikea. If I want multiple paints, you know, I have my little paint palette, which I need to clean because I just used it. Um, all of my stamp blocks are in here. I use a chamois for cleaning my stamps. So next to this is my big Xyron and then my pirate kitty. And then this is my box of scrapbooks, and maybe I'll go over that when I go over paper. But all of these are paper sampler, and so that whole thing is filled with paper sampler books. Um, that's all my stencils are in those binders, which is why they're here next to my desk, because this is where I do all my stenciling, and that's for my sewing. And laminate for my Xyron. This is my little travel caddy. And maybe I'll go over that when I go over my desk. But that's my travel caddy. Um, on the top is everything I need. So this, these are my um, swatch books, swatch pages, however you want to say it, for all of my paints. Um, this is uh, extra paper for doing inking. So my sprays, all of my sprays. And then all of my uh, enamel drops and my glitter glue. It's all here. Oh, and that's my deco glaze. So since this is where I use all these guys, my swatches live in here. And so I keep everything for painting. <laughs> then I've got my watercolor paints. Way in the back is my Distress Crayons and my... Uh, paint crayons, my watercolor inks, and then my acrylic paint there. All of these little containers, um, no, they didn't all come from Ikea. They came from the hardware store. <laughs> so all the ones that are in here just came from the hardware store. So we have paint markers, some more paint. This was just one of these guys broke. So I got this from the hardware store, and there was quite a bit of it, so he went into that because it broke. My embossing powder, glitter, and more paint. And then the bottom one has, um, that's a little swatch book, different techniques. I keep that in that little swatch book. My silicone pad. This also is another swatch book. Um, it's for trial of paper. So that is that. 
On this side, this is a holder for hair dryers. <laughs> I just have a little towel and I have my heat gun. My little brush holder here. Of course, one of them has decided to fall off. So all of my little blender brushes. And that's Sean. I made him out of clay. <laughs> okay, so this is my paint storage. This is yet another display case that I got from my friend's craft shop that closed. I absolutely adore this thing. It's just really wonderful. So at the very top, I have my uh, labeler, this here on the side. And then I've got my embossing folder swatches so I can see what the boss rate folders look like. Um, my This is my alcohol ink swatches and then my swatches for my embossing powders and my glitter. These are wonderful little paint and um, things that you get at the paint store. And my brushes. This is actually a display case for holding. Um, they sell it for doing fingernail polish. And of course I keep, this is where I keep all of my enamel dots. And the enamel dots that I primarily get are from Fabrica de Kuru. I live here in Germany. It's a Ukrainian company. And they come in these bottles, but I really hate this nozzle. So I put them into these bottles. Because I love this nozzle. It makes them a lot easier to deal with. But there's also in some different companies. It's primarily Fabrica de Kuru. Um, there are some Dovecraft, there is some, um, what is that, I forget, <laughs> but they're all, all there, and like I said, most of them get, um, moved into these little bottles. At the very top, um, these are things for, like, resin crafts, um, some reinkers, so the, the middle part is the ones that I don't grab as much, the outer is what I grab the most. And so, um, I also have all of my Dr. Martin's inks, and then my reinkers are all in this as well. And then going down, what I love about this display case is that the shelves come out. So they come out so I can see real nicely everything that's there. So this top one is my sprays. My acrylic sprays, um, chalk sprays, there's mostly, it's all Fabrica de Coro, but there are some Lindy Stamp Gangs and other things here, but mostly Fabrica de Coro. And then over on this end is my Deco Glaze, Fabrica de Coro as well. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> and then I keep all my paints. So these are, again, it's all Fabrica de Coro. Um, and I've got them all in order to my swatch book. So in my swatch book, that, um, I can see what color I want, and then I have them in order matching my swatch book so that I don't have to look around all over the place for them. And these little guys that is holding them in, because as you can see, when you pull this out, there's nothing here, <laughs> so everything would fall off. Plus, it keeps it all nicely organized. But what this is, is these wonderful little plastic sheets. They come like this, and you can see it has a long end and a short end. These are very easy to cut. Um, I specifically use my tonic shears, my Tim Holtz tonic shears, to cut it, and it cuts really easy. And what I did was, as you can see, the long part has been cut off. So I first cut off the long because, you know, with these trays I don't need the tall and it makes it hard to see these tiny little pots. And then cut them to size. And so they fit in really nicely here. So those are my metallics and then my chameleon metallics and my rustics. My ink daubers and my alcohol inks. And then the next one is my ink pads. These are the full-size ink pads. Um, they're really, you know, some wider ones. And then I, to save space, made it smaller to put in my um, 
Ranger because those are smaller, the uh, Distress Inks, and then some other the Stay Song inks. And so those are all in this guy. And again, I just, oop, there goes my cord. Um, cut them to the width and everything that I wanted, and they work perfectly. Um, this is all of my little guys, and they're in, um, those are the ideology, I think, the little holders. And then at the very bottom is some paints that I don't use quite as often, um, a couple of paint palettes, and a few ink pads, again, that I don't use as often, so those are less often used, so they're at the bottom. And this guy is awesome, and... I know you can purchase these if you are here in Germany by any chance, or just Europe, uh, if you want to. I um, can supply you with a company link, and there's my little guys that fell to the floor. <laughs> I can supply you with a company link. Um, okay, so this is the part of the craft room where the magic happens. The only problem, of course, is that I don't have much, any, really. <laughs> natural light so that that is a bit of an issue so I will start here so these um, bookcases uh, are what I keep my binders in so from the other side um, either before this or after this you'll see <laughs> see that I really love to get old um, drawers like from card catalogs or apothecary whatever so this holds all of my postcards and other like bingo cards, uh, index cards, um, yeah, so everything in there. This little box I made, um, it's actually, it was something we purchased and then I just covered it over. And this is, I just keep finished tags that I've made for various reasons, just some bookmarks, but it's little tags that I've made either for using in other projects or for various reasons. That's my yip yip that my best friend made me. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things in my craft room. This is a Mignon typewriter. It's got a little paper in it. A Mignon typewriter. It's about a hundred years old and the way it works is you take this little guy, you aim it at the letter that you want, and then you push the button. One is for the for it to type, the other is for space. It is the most unique typewriter, and you can see the little... I just love this thing. So if I want to have something that has a typewriter look, I love the idea that I'm getting it from a 100-year-old typewriter. <laughs> my little banana scissor tree my dad made. And then this is all of my... Little tiny envelopes, baggies, about that kind of thing. It's big envelopes in the back. And that's my piano roll. And then this is one of my paper tower towers. And my husband got that at the zoo down in, uh, ooh, don't remember, close to Munich. And so I've got my cardstock, 12 by 12, and then a lot of my 12 by 12 papers are in this stack. And of course this is my painting station with my painter and then next to that is my other paper stack and this is my A4 cardstock. And then there's a few other um, project bags, um, some with papers but some with projects, it's just various things in those. Um, down here, so that binder is unique, so that is my project binder. When I'm working on a specific pro project, I'll take out the pages from the, you know, my binders, my normal binders that I'm going to use and put them into that. And so that works really well for me then. I'm not going back and forth or having about, you know, 20 binders all sitting out. They just go into that. Tripod. Um, the little vacuum. I must love that thing. And my dragons. So this is my desk. And as you can see, I love Louise Heitzel's 
crafty critters. So everything is decorated in crafty critters. And it's a combination of Ikea and Fabrica Decoro, the Ukrainian company that makes some really nice organizers. So I have my monitor for my computer and it's on a boom arm so it can move anywhere I want it to go. And of course my cameras. Now, um, see the, that's Ikea, the little, I'm gonna pull out my chair here so I can get into my desk. Um, it's, uh, from Ikea, it's in the kitchen section. And you can get all kinds of different buckets. I have a combo here of these ceramic ones and the tall buckets. And they work really well. This I made for holding my crocodile, or sorry, my, um, yeah, my crocodiles. Crap it, cor corner jumpers. <laughs> my corner jumpers. And made it very specifically to hold these so that it doesn't tip. And then I just kind of stuck this little guy in there because I use him quite a bit. And so convenient to hold him there. And then this guy my husband made for me. And I love this thing. And it's simply, as you can see, two pieces of wood with two little chunks of wood in between to make a space. Underneath, let me take out my, and it's, I never cap my bottle, so it just, but that's fine. That's how I've set it up. I have a little piece of acrylic down here just so that any water from my sponge or glue doesn't, you know, ruin my board or, you know, glue it to the board. And I have a sponge. This one needs to be changed out because it's gotten kind of gungy. And what I do is I keep a little bottle of water. And when I'm ready to work, I spritz it, get it real wet, and then put it back into the little cradle. And then my glue goes in, and the sponge keeps the glue from pouring out. And the wetness on the sponge also keeps the tip from drying out. And then that way I don't have to deal with caps. I can just grab glue, put it back. Love, love, love it. And since I pretty much primarily use this glue like 99% of the time, <laughs> uh, it's made, you know, for him. But it can take slightly larger bottles and can definitely take little bottles. And then on top, I took, uh, I think we found, I forget where we found the metal pieces, but it's just at the hardware. Looked around and found a couple of um, metal pieces, and then I just covered it with my Crafty Critters again. And then my ink applicators, I put a magnet on the bottom, and so they don't fall. So I can move this around. And my ink applicators aren't getting ink everywhere and they don't fall all over the place. So I love that thing. Probably have too many applicators on. I'm thinking of replacing, trying to find a, a larger metal piece here to have a little bit more room um, so I can have more applicators because I like to have a lot at the same time. <laughs> um, so then all of these drawers, there's a caddy up top that has. My other glues, some resin, those are the least used ones. Um, not never, but I don't use those quite as bit as much. Um, my glossy accents, which again, I always put in needle nose applicator. Um, well, I'll keep going, then I'll talk about the drawers. So then in this part, these is my journal cards. These are all Fabrico de Coral journal cards, and they need to be this is more random journal cards. And then, and these guys, and these are all for Brigade de Coral storage pieces. These are all like larger journal cards or tags, or just, um, oh, you can see there's a lot of different little guys in there. So those are all in there. Now this um, seems odd when you just look at it. Uh, this is my collection of little glasses, and these two I got in when we went to Athens. I love those guys. So if I'm working with a whole bunch of little tiny things, I love to have these little guys. I can put them all into the jar, into the little glass pieces so I can separate. 
about things like if I'm doing um, sequins or working with really tiny ephemera, that works great. And like you can see here, I was doing some clay work and it had all these little guys, so into one of my little jars and I have it all corralled. Of course my printer and then my really big trimmer. So I have a number of trimmers. I have this one which does A3, sorry, A1, A1, A1. And then I've got this one which is just a simple little trimmer and then I've got that trimmer which is the guillotine and the, uh, the side flips over and it has like a serrated, a curvy, and a straight. So I like having that available. Let's see, in this cabinet, this is where I keep the inks I use the most. And then this little guy. Um, these little boxes have special ephemera pieces. This is my ink applicator sponge book. And here I have all my extra tapes, my tape rollers, tape sheets, all that kind of thing, paper clips. And then the bottom one really doesn't have much in it. What it has is what I call my glue books. And I use this so that when I'm gluing, I can I lay down whatever I'm gluing, I can go all over it and not worry about the surface. And you know, it doesn't waste paper because now I'm letting them get used. Now this, I I love this thing. So this is an IKEA. It's in the children's section. So I found it in the children's section. Actually, I think you can now find it in the regular office. But when when I purchased it, it was in the children's section. <laughs> I love this thing. So it's just a little tiny storage guy here. And what I've done is I've used these little plastic inserts. And this is where I keep my scraps of ribbon. So the little pieces, if, um, you know, when I was working on something, whatever was left over, but also a lot of my um, ribbons are in here. And I do have some of my ribbons on my ribbon wall, but these are the ones that don't really, um, well, first of all, I had originally had them on this system. And so they, you know, I take them off to just put them on the ribbon wall. So what happens is that when I work on it, typically I then add it to my ribbon wall rather than put it back onto the thing because this is a little difficult. But I do still love this. So you can see I haven't even touched most of them and they probably won't get moved because, and this is the trick, so I use a clothespin and a circle clothespin and then I use a bobby pin to hold it on so there's no pin. I mean, you could use a, a push pin or just a needle or a pin, whatever, to then, you know, go through. But then you have a hole in your ribbon. If you have a silky ribbon like this, you don't want a hole in it. So I just use a bobby pin. And when this comes off, it's curly, which is awesome because when you use it, especially with the other method, you end up with creases. I don't like creases. <laughs> so this way, there's no creases and they're curly. And so yeah, that's and these, the reason this is, these are still on here is because of it's this adhesive ribbon. I didn't have any other way of working with it, so it just kind of sits on top. But this way, I f the first thing I do is I always come to my drawers to grab the bits rather than go to the full size. It looks unruly, but that's because they spring out of there. <laughs> As you can see, you put it in, it just bounces back out. But it's nicely done. The back is them excess ribbons and I just pulled that out go back in there and I'm not gonna be able to do that one-handed so I'm gonna pull it out put it up here Good job, Jeanette. but in the very back so now I can show you the very back is um, some yarns usually if for instance this guy doesn't like to go on rolls but I have a big amount of it so it's probably the only one I have that's still on its original spool the second I get a ribbon, I immediately take it off the spool and put it on these because it's safe space. Um, at the very, very bottom, the last one is actually where I keep like my cheesecloth and um, like these uh, little 
fabric swatches that my mother made for me. I love these things. And, you know, little bits that I use often. So those are all in there. So I can just sit here and grab. I love it. All right, so let me go back to my boxes. So these boxes hold a lot of random things. Um, for instance, let's see. This one is my tape runners. And then the one next to it is my glue sticks. I need to refill my glue sticks. And magnets. Um, this is where I keep my extra <laughs> clothespins for getting my ribbons, so on and so forth. And what I've done is you can see I labeled them all A, B, C, D, E, F, G, da 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 da. And then I made myself this little book using Crafty Creators. And I have my little inventory. So I can very quickly grab my little book and know exactly which box to grab. And it's for all kinds of other inventory items, but I primarily use it for my little boxes. And that stays right here next to me in my drawers. So this top drawer has the things I grab the most. Um, my mini scoreboard, my felt pad for doing punches. This is, you know, I keep a notebook for um, doing planning of different things. I keep my keyboard so it's wireless. I keep it in here so that it's not on my desk maximize the amount of desk space plus you know when I'm crafting why do I you know I don't need my keyboard I like to have it separated and then here I have my little basket with my most used scissors I have my banana tree for my least used scissors but my most used are in here some tape runners that's my cat in the background desperately trying to get into her daddy's office this book is filled with templates um, the bottom book is filled with, uh, if I purchased a tutorial or had a magazine with a tutorial, that's all in that notebook. And then this notebook is things like labels and tags and things that I use for like collaging and whatnot. And as a matter of fact, next to that, I have this little guy was actually a cross stitch as you can see cross stitch box but in here is what I use for just doing collaging and so it's a little different from my binders because uh, my binders are by theme this is by random and really solely for doing collaging so if, I'm gonna, if whatever I'm doing is going to have collaging in it then I can grab this guy and it's got all those little bits in it so I think that's pretty much, that is my desk space. Works really wonderfully and I I made it into this little circle. I also have this little guy which is a, uh, you might see like a bed type side table. I can roll this in and then I get, you know, a complete circle. And I can go then all the way around and have lots of things. And I love that it's portable because then I can get it out of my way. So if I want to use this space for something else, I can just roll that into another room or <laughs> to the other half of the room. So I love that thing. That works really well. Okay, so that's it. So there we go. A scanner is up there. So that is my desk area.